Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Sindragosa, and this is a beautiful example of a game where a tech card was the most important decision of the entire game. Sometimes you get great scaling boards, you can outstat people, run away with the game. Sometimes you're clawing and fighting for your life, and one tech card in the right position, round after round after round, is capable of keeping you alive, keeping you alive, and eventually you can get to a place where you can even pivot to beat the final person and play for first. All right, enjoy. And we shouldn't care about any of this? Or should we? What we'd like to be able to do from this point forward is to level every turn. If we could get a break, we could chain ease curve. The 2-1 buff on this tipper does make it better. But we easily could play double tipper as we level if we do non chain ease curve. Any thoughts on demons being a top or bottom over average? Felbat is the highest play impact six card in the game, or six star in the game. Theotar is the only other one close. Now, demons as a whole, how good are they? Is that really even a relevant question would be my, my feedback on it. Because how often do you play the full tribe of anything? You just play the good cards and combine them all together. Felbat and Trickster are both very viable cards. Felbat is one of the best cards in the game. I'm assuming going the three. Just a generic undead board, right? Alright, we'll just take our damage then. This should be the round that we try to try to lose, he says. This should be a round that we're, you know, consider acceptable to lose. Most of the demon package is just support cards for Urzul slash Felbat. That right now the tribe doesn't really work as like, oh, you can just take a bunch of mid-game demons and use it to be demons. Soul Juggler is a non-existent composition. Because, you know, Buddy Meta just makes gigantic boards all over the place, so Soul Juggler didn't even pay off. Prior to Buddy Meta, Soul Juggler was very, very, very good for a while. Take our small L. But I'm not going to stay down and try to fight with this. It doesn't make any sense. Not from where we are in this game. All right, pretty good. Now at least we're on a decent curve. Pushing the level up button. The matchup RNG. Casual Grey Bell. Mid game, who's obviously just a nasty mid game tempo hero. This is take a million damage. What we're really good at is power leveling, but if you just run into only tempo mid game boards, you're not going to be able to power level. So we're just going to have a a very disappointed play the game to damage control mid-game Sindragosa. Ooh, I did not expect him to only have two death rattle minions as Grey Bow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Worst places in this game. Also kind of nice breakpoints across the board for our, our shit. Everything value traded there. Okay. Bofor has been called little since he was five. 
I mean, uh, some some people have me on their phone right now. I'm pretty small. You know? I think we're still going to take the... Take this here. It's cute. Friend! A-bomb? It's a six star. Hmm. Yeah. Really wish I could target and unfreeze something. Meh. All feels fairly irrelevant. I want the tip for the stats. I want to go straight to six now. We get two random minions here. Probably the best two minions we could have gotten. Golden boombox. All right, well, I think that should probably illustrate where we are in this game. This little shit has double golden boombox. Turn seven. And we're favored. That's double golden boombox. He can book gold it with his buddy? Yeah. Like nobody's nobody's asking how he got it. He's got double golden boombox though. We are stronger than a double golden boombox board on turn seven. And who, nobody's concerned about how he got it. Of course he got it that way. Mm, meh. Oh, shit. Funny tech to unfreeze one minion. Yeah, you can do that anytime you evolve or uh, like Malagos hero power. It's super relevant on. He is a better version of a boombox board. He is barren boombox, selfless, everything. I see. Just shield this guy. No, no, no. Okay, I mean, somewhat decent. Go left. Maybe once do what I asked would be nice no just take 15 instead okay cool great that would be less than optimal at least we're over damage cap still yeah Great tribes on the board. Some of my favorites, even. I'm especially fond of the hyena. Ghoul of the feast combo. Bro, we're gonna need some help over here. <laughs> but second summoner, I know, right? What about second dinner? This Theo scaling is unreal! We just have to sack the round, right? Like it doesn't make any sense to play for anything else. One tribe Theo, which is not Theo yet. We have a Theo on the board and we're taking at least triples. If we get another Theo, then we're Theo. If we're not, then we just play tempo next turn. Unfortunately, we're just not competitive with this, right? Imagine Rag getting online. First time ever. It's a first for anything. 
but we're still in the depths of trying to find a way out of the pit of getting smacked for a million. There's a chance it goes drowns. There's a chance that we get a weak opponent. Did get the ghost drown? Hmm, no. Hmm, no. Let me try. Just start from scratch. Port. It'd be nice to get you it before. I don't think we die we should probably take the charlie buff instead of rolling for the the monkey let's even get ourselves there yeah i don't think the summoner scaling is fast enough in this game that we have to view this as we need a recovery turn whether we go for mantids or whatever it is. Summoners starting from zero buff on turn nine is not a viable line. We just got to find our way back in. Get lucky and get another theatar quickly and then, you know, change out. Or we get mantids and, and tempo quickly. That's not ideal. All right, whew. Do make it look hard sometimes. The very least we want to look at this before playing anything. And then we can start debating after this whether we need to just buy things or we want to play toward another we got three gold they're poo i think we're dead i think we're kind of like always dead unless we get zapped People popping off a little hard for us this game. All right. I hope he's susceptible to zap. And we go first because he's just going to kill it with boombox. Maybe if we double taunt it, we can make it big enough. We can put a one attack taunt. Every last stat. He better be susceptible to zap because uh, I don't think we can do it otherwise. He was uh, susceptible to zap. <laughs> My lord, we were going to die. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. He was susceptible to zap. He had a lot of death rattle. A two attack, a little death rattle minions on the board trying to keep it alive, too. Woo! 
Game do be scary, though. Right, this might be the best rag finish we've seen yet. Four, five, six. We made a joke the last time about five, six, seven being the best rag finish. A four, five, six this time. Shit. It's pretty good. Four beasts. Wait, how many more rolls? I'm actually not doing this. Man, I wish I had some more turns. <laughs> Anyone got any more of them turns? Oh, shit. We're going to have to play Zap again. play another game of hope they're susceptible to zap yeah we got a placement and a half off of just zap this game everything else was relatively unimpactful we lost every round prior to that point then we found a zap and then we won the next two rounds because of it alright alright cool You went 12 turns without fighting this guy? I mean, it's kind of normal. You're not going to fight all seven other players in the first 12 turns. The people that we did fight weren't exactly weak. We got the Omu that 15 us when they went to six. Then we had the, uh, the Rag on that turn, which was strong. Obviously, Rag is susceptible to dying to the high roller. The Omu's the high roller. This is the board that wins. ghost we are the ghost actually we've been the ghost all along still want the stats question is do we want ghoul <laughs> and now the next question is do you want ghoul baron we don't really know what this board is but if it's not built correctly to deal with ghoul baron you might be able to cheese this one out too Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. You did a great job for the memes. Not even really memes. It's more for the... There are a few things that, that Mech Exodia does well. And there are some things that it doesn't. And if you don't get like the Uthers or whatnot, you can just make it so that a ghoul into a ghoul board will kill their Baron as well as the rest of the combo. And then they come back and they don't have the Baron and you can win off of it. Move Baron one left. I, I don't care. I don't care if this thing dies. I'd rather it get hit by shit. He's got zaps. We've got zaps, but it doesn't matter. Our zaps kill his Kangors. Bro, this is the world's best fucking zap. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't care what other choices we made this damn game. Zap. <laughs> like, we just took this one. From what was gotta be a six, a five, six, seven finish, or four, five, six, or whatever, to hit zap and get top two. Okay.
Now, what do we want to see here? How do we play this one? You know he's going to be protecting Zap. Or protecting Baron now. Go find our own combo. If we go up, what can we do? Just replace Baron with Manted? I'm not convinced Baron doesn't just stay on this board. I don't know. We'd have to find like Golden Baron quickly. It's not Leroy. Not against this board. It's still not Leroy. Imagine not wanting Leroy. Last game, return of the game. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Friend. There's the Kaboom box. There's also a ghoul. That may actually be an answer if we have another round. Depends on what he sees or what he has on the board. Depends on what he sees. Go ahead. Zap my Titus. See if I care. See if I fucking care, bro. Oh, it's a big zap. It's a huge zap even. But the zap's not the problem. It just ain't. Our zap is has in one game. In one game. Killed like four compositions. Unfortunately. Our Zap decided not to win the 90 percenter at the end. Oh, so sad. <laughs> we almost cheesed out an entire lobby off of the back of a vanilla Zap. All right, fine, whatever. Casual 92, no big deal. Another 6% scam. Yeah, Zap won five rounds. I am not remotely disappointed. I'd love that one to be a dub. But that was one of the scammiest games I've seen in a minute. Good job, buddy. You did great. Match.